Why do you worry where you're born? Are you there, brother? When you know you're an Indian? Why do you worry about the color of your skin, brother? When you know your blood is Indian? Why do you worry? Good morning, respected principal teachers and all my dear friends. My name is Anamika D.A. Today I am standing in front of you to deliver a speech on Republic Day. Before moving forward, I would like to wish you all a happy Republic Day. Today we all gathered here to celebrate 73rd Republic Day of our nation. On 26 January 1915, we got its constitution. India became independence on 1947, August 15, from British rule. However, the constitution of India came 26 January 1915. Since then we celebrate Republic Day on every year. Jai Hind. Thank you. Have a nice day. Good morning, my name is Ame. Today I am here to present a small speech on Republic Day. Every year India celebrates its Republic Day on 26 January. It is the national festival of India. On this day in 1950 our constitution came into effect. This year in 2022 will be celebrate the 23rd Republic Day of India. On 26 January the President of India hoists the national flag in New Delhi. Uh, it is the second time when Republic Day celebration will be very short and due to the pandemic situation. A big parade is held at the ga India Gate in New Delhi. Republic Day is celebrated in schools and colleges with full enthusiasm and joy. Thank you and have a nice day. <laughs> Indie Uri Paramadi Kara, Stidi Samantua, Mother Nirebeksha, Janadi Batia, Republic Kai, Samidanam Seyun Nadinam, Paradatile Ella Powden Markum, Samu Higavum, Sambati Gavum, Rashtriavumai, Nidi, Tinda, Ashia Vishkaram, Vishwasam, Bakti, Ara Dana, Enive Kula Swadindram, Stana Manangal, Avasarangal, Enive Lula Samatuam, Eniva, Urupu Arutun Nadinam, Victude and the Sum, Rashtratinde Aikavum, Aganda de Yum, Urapu Arituna, Saho de Rim, Ella Verilum, Valatuna Dinum, Rudanishem, Chedu Kunde, Namude, Baranagada, Na Sabayil Vichem, Iretitolaitin Apatambada, Naumbar in Day, I Irubatiaram Divasam, I Baranagadane, Angi Kiriku Gayum, Yama Maku Gayum, Namukait and a summer Piku Gayum Sayuno. Good morning, everyone. I am Rundanda from Class Six B. India celebrates its first Republic Day in 1950 on the 26th of January. The country got independence in 1947. It took two years to make the constitution by the Constituent Assembly. It was finally completed on the 26th of January in 1949. The day, the 26th of January, holds a lot of historical importance for the country. Two important things happened on this day. 1. Johala Nehru was elected as President of Indian National Congress. And 2nd, Purnaswaraj was declared this day. Purnaswaraj means Independence Day. Therefore, the 26th of January was celebrated as Republic Day. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Kuri Krishna. I am from Sister B. Today I am here to deliver a small speech on Republic Day. On 26 January, we celebrate Republic Day every year in India. In 1950, the constitution was started by our freedom fighters. India turned into a secure and law-based or democratic country on this day. VIPs from, VIPs from various nations are in are welcomed as chief visitors. It is one of the three three national festivals in India. Constitution, Constitution of India formally came into force force on Republic Day in, in the year 1950. 
Thank you and have a nice day to all. Happy Republic Day. Hi everyone. I am Aditya Anu. I study in Sri Gogulam Public School 6th B. Today I am going to talk about Republic Day. Good morning to everyone who is present here on this auspicious occasion. All of us are here to celebrate the 72 Republic Day of our country today. I am obliged and honored to give a speech on Republic Day celebrated every year on 26 January has a special significance in the history of India. To make the event memorable, the national event is celebrated every year with a lot of joy, happiness and pride in our heart. As we know on 26 January 1950 the Indian constitution came into effect and so from that day we the people of India constantly praise it as the republic day of our country we all know that India got independence on 15th August 1947 but the nation didn't have any constitution of its own however after many decisions and considerations of a committee headed by dr b r ambedkar submitted a draft of the indian constitution which was adopted on 26th november 1949 and officially came into effect on 26th january 1950 Thank you.